We are Next Robert from Batu Pahat Science Secondary School. Alex say bye. Nowadays, no one can deny that introverts and extroverts are two different types of people. Extroverts are people in today's society. Many people think that extroversion is normal, while introversion is abnormal. Introverts are typically ridiculed and often misunderstood by extroverts. Being an introvert is often considered weak. They are not quite as good as the extroverts who just seem to breathe through life. Here, I would like to share with you guys three reasons why introverts are actually at a disadvantage in today's society. The first one is verbal communication skills are not as strong as just extroverts. Introverts tend to take more time to process what they are going to say, so they are not as prepared to express themselves verbally on the spot, whether in meetings, interviews, or even casual conversation. The second one is introverts are misunderstood and misjudged. There are a set of social customs that people are expected to follow, even though the way people interact is not one size fits all. When a person tends to keep to the, themselves more, they can also be perceived as true or misunderstood altogether. This includes first impressions that many introverts make that probably don't capture who they actually are as a person. People make their own assumptions and judgments about individuals when they are not given enough to go off. So if someone is just speaking or in judging much, society will develop reasons as to why. Even though the why is simple, that they are an introvert, and being an introvert can often mean social anxiety. And the third one is, people want to fix them. Society has adopted the idea that the person who is speaking is right, or even the one who is loudest is right. We learn even from a young age in school that speaking up equals reward. Naturally, those who don't understand would assume there is something wrong with those who don't walk the talk. In society, we often look to have something, anything to say without looking for it to help them. So, our objective for our project is to focus on transforming people from low extroverts to high extroverts in order to boost students' confidence. As I told you guys, that introverts may cause a lot of disadvantages for themselves and also the society. So, we want to prevent these low extrovert students become an introvert. So, also students can practice being an extrovert with the help of a suitable tool to guide them. So now I will show you the conventional method that our educational system used until today. So what are the problems that we students and teachers encounter after using this traditional method? First of all, seminars use higher costs. It is because the school has to pay for the motivator to give inspiration to the student. In addition, the preparation of the seminar venues also requires costs. Secondly, seminars require great commitment from teachers and students. It is because teachers and students must work together to ensure the success of the seminar. But this rarely happens nowadays because they easily get bored. Moreover, it is not only about the cost, but also about the time and transportation. It is because seminars usually last for several days, and this will disturb the learning process of students. Plus, it is difficult for students to attend seminars if they are held in different places or far away from the school. Some schools also do not provide a bus for the students, and they have to rely on the teacher for transportation. This is not only difficult for the student but also burden the teachers. So we came up with the idea to change people from low extrovert to high extrovert. As many as 37% of Batu Pahat Science Secondary School students are low extrovert. This makes all tasks difficult to perform. Some students 
were tested with a personality inventory. These tests can detect whether a person is a high extrovert or a low extrovert. For students who result a low extrovert, they will be challenged in a talking card game. This game can take out their shyness. Their shyness can make them not dare to go forward and doesn't have self-confidence. They are asked to press themselves in front of people. Indirectly, this game can increase the extrovert as well as accustom themselves to speak in public without shame and fear. So, our group came up with a game inspired by poker. We chose to invent a game because it is easily accepted by society and encouraged managers to play. As we know, poker cards are always abused for gambling purpose in today's society. So, we invented this poker card to make the game beneficial for the community. Next, I will train you guys on how to play the talking card. First of all, we need to form a circle shaped group with 5 members and then we will be safe and any rest card. Each member will be given the rest of the card without showing it to other members. Each member will determine the turn according to the number on dice. The first member will start the game with a pair of cards that have the same color. To eliminate the card, they will need to do one of two challenges in the same color card. The game will be continued until there is no more pair card. The member who holding the last card will need to do the last two challenge. That's all. <laughs> so, to test out the functionality of our game, we have a pre-test and a post-test on two sample groups of students whose members are not close to each other. So, the students were chosen based on their extrovert marks in the personality inventories test by the Malaysian Ministry of Education. Here is their result on the test. As you can see, that is quite worrying. So, to test the functionality of our game, this time, they were given the same question after they are playing the talking card game. And here are their results. As you can see, there is a drastic improvement. And to make sure that this test was legitimate, they did not know their extra word marks personality test before they are playing this talking card to make sure they are honest while playing the game. So, to quote my friend Noha earlier, in this day and age where modernization world is changing as fast as lightning, we as innovators must not remain stagnant in our pursuit of innovation. So, we aspire to make this innovation called talking card. The first one is to build self-confidence. We want to improve students' self-confidence so they feel more comfortable while facing a lot of people, especially when students step out from school because they will meet many people from different life backgrounds. The second one is to make better communication skills. We want to improve students' communication skills so they can talk in front of people without any speech delay. It is useful for any students who needs to face an interview for any jobs or scholarships in the future. So, in conclusion, we hope that this product can make a collaboration with any card company so everyone from around the world can play this card and improve their confidence level at the same time improve from low extroverts to high extroverts person. Super interesting and very super It makes me more confident activity that is very random. The normal part. That makes me more confident to talk with other people. The game helped me to uh, gain my confidence. Help me to be like other friends. And help me to improve my language. I had so much fun. It's so happy. Enjoy it.